Hi there minions, uh, welcome back, it's Professor Cortex here and today we'll be playing the Kerbal Space Program. Um, it's a game that you get in, you play as these small little Kerbals uh, with their little cute little bug eyes and their sort of blank expressions. Um, and you can send them up into space by building space rockets or you can just fly them around the planet using planes. Um, the idea is that you, kinda, you just get them up there um, and you explore space. Um, you can send them to the moon, sort of land, uh, build sort of space stations, orbit the planet, a really good game. Um, uh, so we'll just sort of get in. I've already made a few rockets uh, and stuff just to test the game out um, and get used to it so it's a nice video for you guys because otherwise we end up trying to just shoot things into space which is always fun but not as encouraging to watch. Um, so hopefully we can just get in, record, without too much hassle. So when you start the game, uh, this is sort of the sandbox mode of it, uh, you have a collection of different pods, um, as well as a collection of diff different uh, fuel tanks, engines, command and control pods, so it, oh, everything needs something to take control of. Um, it is a little bit confusing if you haven't played the game before, um, and it's quite good to take the tutorials, uh, which we won't be doing, um, so we should be getting, uh, let's go by size, the, that's the biggest. Um, yeah, these. So this is the command module, so that's where we can put our crew. So we click our crew, we have Andy, Andy Kerman as the pilot. So we've already got a pilot in there. Um, so we've already got a pilot, let's go, we'll go back to build. Um, so we've got our pod, we have need a nose. So let's go with small nose go. Yeah, that's a little bit too small. Um, what's that size? A little bit bigger. There we go. Yeah, that do. So we have a nose for aerodynamics, because aerodynamics and a lot of physics do come into this game. So, right, we shall have fuel tanks. I think we shall go for the biggest. Some of the engines don't require fuel because they naturally have them in. So engines like these uh, have a solid fuel booster. So we zoom out. Uh, so they're solid fuel boosters, so they just instantly fly up and boost, which is really handy. Um, we can select it. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, let's... Because cameraing in this is. Very essential. Uh, where's me? Page up. So we go out. Alright. So we have that. We need some aerodynamics on our wings. So again, go for some nice. Two wings. Couple wings on it. Inline stabilizers. So these, if I take those off, that can, these help to keep your ship stabilized whilst it's flying. Okay, so we attach that. Okay, so uh, we've only got one rocket. So we should get our clamps. So essentially, this is sort of the game. You just get in, 
fire rockets and watch the fun. Um, there is a story mode where you can kind of go in, you get science points that you can evolve, which I might do a little bit later on in the series, depending on sort of how well this goes. So we've got our rocket on the launch pad. We shall engage our SAS and our RTS. Let's see if I can remember the buttons. There we go. It's uh, R and T. Um, so we have a little picture of. So if we go view. We can see Andy Kerbal's inside the cockpit. Uh, we've got all sorts of sort of fancy doodads that sort of Andy can. You can even control the thrust. Andy. A little bit hard from this angle, but sort of easier. So we shall go out this angle back to our spaceship, and we shall fire. Um, Go. So now we can go back to Andy's view and watch as he takes off. Uh, this is all our pilot, little Andy can see. You can see our speed. That is our nav ball, that big sort of orb that's in the top of the earth. Uh, that tells us what direction we're facing and which way we're going. It's very important that we try and keep that centered because otherwise we will upside down. Um, so we'll see how far we can get with just little um, Andy. Andy. So. Andy. Um, Andy looks terrified. Which should be. Everything's going fine. Like, everything we are right high. Now looks fine. Oh, what's uh, fine. I mean, every, all this information that's inside Andy's sort of spaceship is right here on my sort of screen to see. Um, so at the top you've got the height, the atmosphere, everything. Uh, we're running out of fuel quite rapidly. <laughs> so uh, over here is our fuel. Um, so we're running out quite rapidly, which is going to be a slight, a slight issue. So as we're breaching the atmosphere, we are getting hotter and hotter. Um, we're actually going 1,100 miles per second, which is bloody fast. Um, there's no parachute on this, so once we run out of fuel, if we don't make it to space, um, we're actually overheating. Um, that's not good. But no, once we kind of make it to space, we won't be able to get back again. Uh, if we go into our orbital view, this is our orbital view, which, uh, if we zoom in, you can see. <laughs> yeah. So you can see that's our, our ship here as it's taking off. Um, this point here, the AP, is where it, the apoapsis. So that's basically its point, the maximum point in which it will reach before it will start declining back to Earth. So the idea is that you kind of are able to, if you boost right, the apoapsis moves in order for you to kind of get a stable orbit. Um, if we zoom out, we have what you can see here the two sort of orbits are the other ships I've done so this is Jebediah uh, oh no Jorman this is Jorman unfortunately Jorman is stranded in space at this moment um, because I got him outside the spaceship to repair something and he bumped and flew um, into his own orbit so now he is orbiting the planet on his own um, and these two Working rocket and working rocket. Um, they are essentially his his ship um, and um, another ship. So if we zoom back into the ship we've got running at the moment, uh, there we go. So our spaceship. We get a better light on it. There we go. Our ship is now in space. Uh, it's out of the atmosphere. So yeah, we are in space. So we view. He has a perfect view of if we were to throw a spanner into these works and if I rotate the spaceship. Stop, 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 stop. And we'll go back. There. Right now, 
There we go. Nothing to fear. We can't see anything. Um, so now if I get back, we just engage warp slightly. There we go. There we go. Right, we're coming back to Earth now. Um, right, almost like a dart. Um, which he seems to be enjoy quite a lot. Um, yeah, I was really looking forward to having a go at No Man's Sky. Um, unfortunately, as I say, it's not out till 5 o'clock tonight. Um, so we'll have to play it later. Um, I've got a few comments back on a couple of my videos, so thank you guys for commenting. Um, I have replied to most of them, if not all. Um, so thank you so much for commenting, and I will definitely be getting back to more sort of comments when you guys decide to put it up. Um, so hopefully, if I just can we speed this up a little bit. So. Heading out to Earth fairly fast. Um, we have no parachute, so this is basically going to be a giant lawn dart. Um, oh, the, the, the sort of force forcing it spinning. Um, we, we've just created a missile. Can we? Spin, spin. Oh Jesus! Um, yeah, there's nothing left of that. <laughs> so we just go back to uh, the tracking station. So this is our tracking station. So this is where we sort of track every uh, spaceship that we've made. Um, Anything that's sort of orbiting or in or around our solar system, we can kind of check out. So we have uh, the moon, or Mun, um, and we also have Kerbin. So this is Ladolin. Where's Ladolin Kerbin? Oh, Ladolin Kerbin's on the planet. Uh, this is poor old Jorman. Uh, so we zoom in to Jorman. Where's Jorman? There we go. Uh, if we hit fly, let's have a look at Jorman Kerbin, who is unfortunately orbiting the planet. Uh, this was my mistake that I accidentally did. Um, however, doesn't seem too bothered. Um, so this is Jormin. Uh, he is here we go. happily uh, sort of hey, Jormin, you're not even looking at the planet. That's just Turn the German. Okay, we can't even turn him. He is stuck as is. But we sort of fast forward. We can watch as the planet spins by. Poor old German. Um, we get a. We can get a crew report. Uh, let's overwrite our resistance report. You've recorded the <laughs> observations about the situation. Um, so, he is just well and truly uh, stranded, unfortunately. There's not much uh, we can do for poor old Jorman. Um, go back to the space center. Um, I can't rescue him. <laughs> just because it's a very hard task to do is trying to get a spaceship up. So, that was kind of... Uh, if we go back to our, our vehicle assembly. Let's see if we can make... A bigger rocket. So we got one that actually sort of works. Let's see if we can just make the most ridiculous rocket. I have an idea, uh, which I did want to test out, so if I can find the piece that I need. Uh, there. Right. So we have our very big platform. Now if we go and get our Let's go and get these. So these require liquid fuel and oxidizer, so they're slightly different to the rockets we've had, the, the rocket we got earlier, in the sense that they actually require uh, 
some form of fuel uh, as opposed to the sort of solid, but I think we're going to have to get the solid, I'll be honest, that's not going to work. Take that. There we go. Uh, we use the, the, the one we used before. You put one. There it is, right. <laughs> there we go, we got it. So uh, essentially we just have a big platform. So then what I want to do is so we get one like these. Just had it. There we go. So now we essentially have we've got our pilots. We have enough for two. So we, there we go. So we have a scientist and a pilot. Right. Uh, I want to give this a go and see what it's like. Oh, so it's got four solid f fuel rockets. So they should just straight up in the air. <coughs> um, so we'll see, we'll give it a go and we shall have a look-see so there's our two pilots let's have a look uh, what they can see just pure sky um, what's our other lovely pilot see, yeah, just pure sky as well right, so uh, let's turn on our Stability launch. Right. This is going faster than I thought. It's actually going straighter than I thought as well, considering it's got no sort of wings or stability. It's just got four big rockets on a platform. So this is actually working. I'm, I'm, and here it goes. It's, it's, it's going. It's going. It's going. I'm, I'm, I'm. Keep, keep this stable. No, we're not going to be able to keep this stable. No, we've lost this. I can turn off my RTS and stuff. No, it's not. Keep, just keep it as it is. We might get some somewhere. <laughs> um, oh, terrifying! Oh, no, we can we can see the floor it's steadily everywhere. We're also running out of fuel quite fast. <laughs> So I do love this game. This game is one of my favourite games, um, other than obviously Pokemon, which I've said in my uh, Pokemon video. But this doesn't look good. <laughs> this really doesn't look good. <laughs> but no, uh, this is one of my favourite games, just for the pure sake of that we can actually have sort of caribals. The physics in the game are amazing. Uh, the graphics, again, are, are really good. Um, just for sort of what they are, um, we, we actually are slowly plummeting to the ocean, I do believe. Let's uh, have a quick look. Yep, and we're actually out of fuel, so we're just free falling many, many, many miles. We're actually only traveling 150, 160 uh, miles per second, which isn't too fast compared to. Oh, God. Uh, let's speed this up. Yeah, this 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 may hurt uh, quite a lot. Uh -huh. was, I don't think they're gonna survive this. Um, well, they just look like a really funky submarine. <laughs> we, we kind of... Here it comes. Oh! That actually was worse than I was anticipating. We have no survivors. Um, right, so we revert to our vehicle assembly. With our ship still intact, um, I feel like we could kind of improve this. Uh, all right, um, this rocket here is a little bit off because because I couldn't get it. It wouldn't want to stick. Uh, so we do have sort of one, two, six, twelve rockets on that. We have, we, we do have all twelve on that. Um, if we just check out the. Okay, yeah, the, the aerodynamics is just none. Uh, the center of thrust and the center of gravity. So it is all pretty even. Um, however, aerodynamics just. Yeah, it's all the way down there, the aerodynamics. We have no aerodynamics. Um, understandably. <laughs> right, this. I will show you guys the working rocket that I made. Um, we, you can have a look. Um, right, 
I just want to give this a test first. So we're just gonna everything on. Fire! We're just gonna launch this. Oh shit! That's going faster than I thought. Um, we're gonna get our fuel very fast though. I don't think we're even going to use all the fuel. Um, this thing is so unstable. I don't know if we made it to space with this though. It's not the most unconventional space we're going to make. We're not going to make it to space. We're just hurling to go. <laughs> Look at the fire. This is... She has a higher chance of living if she jumps out. So we can... Yeah, no, she, she isn't going to live. Megalyn. Yeah, I think Megalyn's going to go pretty good. Uh, come on, Megalyn. Come on. Most precarious situation. I would agree. Go on. Alright, we still have. Um, who do we have? Who is this? Um, I don't know who this is. But she has a very nice view of. Uh, can we rotate the ship to see Megalyn? Uh, oh, yeah, Megalyn gonna come into view. Can we see Megalyn? Nah, I don't think we're going to be able to see Megalyn as she plummets. We are being very close to the water. Uh, <laughs> we can see it such in shadow. Here we go. Uh, this is not going to be good. Yeah, we, we've lost Megalyn. And we've lost... Oh, there's our shadow. Big <laughs> <laughs> oh. bit survived. We have... We we have a platform. Somehow the only thing that did survive was the platforms the rockets were on. <laughs> Somehow. Uh, do we not have who's that over there? Oh, that's Ladlin. Okay. Right. We shall return to the red flight to vehicle assembly. Okay. Right. Uh, next episode we might actually try and make it to the moon. Uh, I just wanted to get in and show you guys the game this sort of session and have a muck around. Um, where is it? Is it be? There it is. Working rocket MK4. Um, to be four attempts. There we go. So this is the, the, the sort of rocket that I spent time on building and creating. So next episode we will give this a flight um, so as you can see this actually breaks away um, to reveal some more stuff we've got a big rocket wings so it's all yeah, everything we've made, essentially we've made a plane and a rocket so this is Bill and unfortunately we stranded Bill in not only just around Kerbin but around the sun um, does he still have some fuel left? He does. There we go. So, uh, there, there is Bill. Bill Kerman, just stranded in space. Right. <laughs> 
All right, I think I'm gonna leave this video here. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Um, if you liked it, comment, like, subscribe. You know what to do. Um, unfortunately, I say No Man's Sky will be out tomorrow. Um, unfortunately, for sort of everyone, I'm really looking forward to playing today. I wanted to get in, you know, play it, but unfortunately not. So we've had to substitute for this base game, and it's amazing. Um, so, uh, I recently got Twitter, so please feel free to follow me on Twitter if you guys want, if you like Twitter. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much. Um, thank you for watching. We shall see you guys in the next video.